Good day, dear friends. How to smuggle into a country? Weapons, ammunition, drugs, money, and many other items we won't tell you. But we will tell you how with help of modern technical equipment, these and many other violations and crimes are being successfully prevented. Illegally transported items pose a threat not only to human life and health, often it is a threat to the country's budget. Cargo inspection systems provide effective customs and border control of all transported cargoes without opening containers and manual inspection. Mobile versions of these systems increase efficiency and speed of customs and transport control procedures. Thus, the export of smuggled goods from our country worth 1 billion rubles was prevented during 2021. One of these systems is operated by the customs authorities in our country. We are in port now. A lot of cargoes are being scanned here daily. So here we've got the ST2630M, the first in the world mobile cargo inspection system based on the C-band accelerator. This model represents the second generation of the cargo inspection system. It has become more efficient, safer and lighter. It is possible to mount the system on various truck chassis. This version is placed on the chemist chassis, which provides mobility and the ability for rapid deployment of the system anywhere. Technical and technological solutions implemented in the system guarantee radiation safety for operators and public in accordance with Russian and international standards. The scanning process is initiated by the driver from the cabin. The transformation of the ST2630M from transport to working mode is carried out using this module. For safety and convenience, the complex is equipped with a video surveillance system that includes nine cameras, one of which is rotary and allows the driver to determine the presence in the restricted area of people or objects that interfere with the scanning process. The beginning and the end of scanning process is managed with a touch control panel. Its functions are partly duplicated by additional mechanical buttons. There is an intercom module next to the video monitor to provide for communication between the driver and the operator's compartment. Heating and air conditioning systems are provided to ensure comfortable work in the cab. The first possible operation mode of the ST2630M is the mobile one. In this mode, the vehicle drives and stops under the scanner frame. The driver leaves the vehicle and moves outside the restricted area. The system moves at a constant speed along the scanned object. In this mode, the whole vehicle is scanned, including the driver's cab. Scanning is possible in forward and reverse direction. In this mode, it is possible to inspect up to 25 vehicles or containers per hour, while the penetrating ability on steel is 320 mm. Let's see from the operator's compartment what's inside the scanned vehicle. The operator's cabin accommodates up to three members. They compare waybills with scanned images of cargo to identify prohibited and suspicious items and substances. All documents from the driver or carrier are scanned and saved in the database. Artificial intelligence performs automatic analysis of cargo and allows to get high-quality radiographic images with recognition of four groups of materials, weight estimation and the atomic number determination. Video surveillance cameras ensure control of the situation outside the cabin. Let's get acquainted with the functionality of the system using the scanned images of the vehicle. In this case, we know that there is a sack of sugar in the trunk. On the image with a naked eye, we can identify areas with increased density of material. Usually, it is an engine or suspension. An experienced image analyst will immediately pay attention to the increased density in the trunk area, where it actually shouldn't be. On the general background, we can see a bag with some substance. The color set in yellow, orange and light green characterize its content as organic. The system allows specialists to adjust the range of light and dark zones in accordance with individual features. It is also possible to sharpen the image and check the density of the load using the absorption level function that makes it possible to highlight and rent the denser areas, as shown on the screen. There are four main technologies used for efficient cargo scanning. XMAT – recognition of four groups of materials, organic with low or medium atomic number, metals and heavy metals, X-weight – overall or selective weight estimation of the scanned cargo, Z-recovery – material atomic number recovery when shielded by another object, and XHDR – extended dynamic range function for detailed analysis of radiographic images. 
The second operation mode for the ST2630M is the Portal 1. This function ensures high performance of the system. It is possible to inspect up to 120 cars per hour. In this mode, the system remains motionless and vehicles pass under the frame during scanning. To ensure safety of the driver, it is possible to scan the cabin of the vehicle with a reduced radiation power. We've just scanned the vehicle and seems like there are some suspicious objects in its body. There are blue-green bottles with liquid clearly shown on the screen, blue color is here for glass, green for the organic content of bottles. We also can see high-density metal objects. Let's go and check out what's really there. So, according to the images we've got from the cargo inspection system, here we have two bottles of alcohol, as well as knives of different sizes, like this medium one, also the small one, and the big one. The ST2630M is able to operate continuously around the clock in the open air and is distinguished by reduced level of ionizing radiation impact. This feature is ensured by a high-tech safer and more compact linear accelerator with dual energy modulation. The system is able to operate both from a stationary power source or autonomously from a built-in diesel generator set. Russian manufacturers are working on the new security products development. Stay tuned to get more information about this topic. Don't forget to put a like, leave comments and subscribe to our channel.